How's it going, everybody? This is, uh, we decided to do a quick video tonight, kind of a kickoff for the league, uh, for the Battle Dome. So, uh, yeah, we just wanted to welcome everyone to a new fantasy football season. And we're going to do some rankings. Uh, we're going to rank everybody's team. So, um, hopefully, you'll take things personal. We're going to talk some trash about teams. Uh, I hope you take it very personally. Um, so far, I've had a lot of trash talk actually during the draft stuff, so that was pretty entertaining. I enjoyed it. Um, let's keep that vibe going, guys. Um, so what we're gonna do here, we're gonna rank from one to 11. So that way, I'm not gonna rank my or I'm not gonna rank my team in there, and then Jay's not gonna rank his team in there, just so there's no, um, you know, just so there's no, uh, Bias no bias. No, self, bias no self serving, self loathing. <laughs> Just 100% smack talk. Yeah, actually, Jay and I were talking to you. Um, we're looking at the draft, and it was like, it seems like I didn't really see any really, really strong teams and any really, really bad teams. Like, it seems like everybody came out of that draft really um, pretty equal footing. I don't know if it's just because it's such large rosters or what but um it was kind of hard to actually well, put rankings in there <laughs> well levi we did the everyone very carefully very seriously and only the best made it into this league so congratulations so ben, to all of you ben, Ooh, sucks. ben, ben no. was a late addition <laughs> so it was a courtesy team let's be honest <laughs> all right well levi who's your top team in the rankings of the battle dome all right. Uh, my top team is Low Patrick. Um, so oh. I thought they had. Well, Low Patrick's my top team. Uh, are we what, are you the same draft guy? Are we? You looked at my uh -huh. sheet. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I thought he had, uh, you know, right out of the gate, went triple running backs. Um, so I think that's pretty strong right there. Um, Bold move. Yeah, I think aside from the running backs, I really like uh, the quarterbacks that he went and got in the you know mid round. So when Stafford, Bridgewater, like those are three starters right there. Uh, I feel really good about that. Um, wide receiver is uh, you know obviously he had a concession too, but I you know yeah, and he said I'm going big right out of the gate. I'm giving up my first round pick. I want Adam Thielen. Yeah, this guy came to win. The oh, two guys, two guys, one team. Lowell Patrick. <laughs> Wait, did he get? He's, Why are we talking about two, Adam Thielen? Adam Thielen is his second wide receiver. He traded his first to Ben, Team uh, Gifford, to get Adam I didn't Thielen. Even see, didn't see that. Hold on. Well, I saw it. I was ready. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. So he's ready to win. So, yeah, at, Lil Patrick is at the top of our rankings. Solid team. You know, lots of depth. Nikhil Harry. Yep. John Ross might, Josh Ross might, has, might turn it around this year. Who knows? Everyone's waiting on him. But, um, yeah, what a team. So, all right. Who's you number two? Have, number, you tell me who your number two is. I had. Ben Giver. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Not Ben Gifford. Decatur Staley. The old swear wolf. Ian. Ooh, Ian. He was my number two. Um, thought he won't super flex. He's got two of the probably the probably the two top quarterbacks. Um or top yeah, top five. But Patrick, Dak Prescott, um, and then turned around, went double wide receiver. Went zero RB and still came out with two um, star running backs. James Conner, Duke Johnson got that at a discount. Oh, sorry, David Johnson, not Duke Johnson. But um, I think he's got a really solid team. Uh, you know, he's got Matt Gay as his kicker. It's always good. Mr. Marlon Mack. Mr. <laughs> um, yeah, I think he's got a really good team. Um Although, his, 
I say he's got George Kittle, but he's got some pretty old tight ends on his bench. That's my one knock on him. Old backup tight ends, but you know, still a good team. Number two. <laughs> All right. So I actually had Ian number two as well. So maybe we are not the same draft. Um, I had, same. yeah, great quarterbacks. Um, great minds think alike. I agree. Um, you know, I think uh, the running back situation is interesting, but I think just having uh, Kittle, uh, Chark, he actually sniped Chark for me. I was going to take Ooh. him the next pick. I um, actually wanted him around that time, too. So is uh, it really a gonna... snipe if he's around, supposed to go around that time? Or is it a snipe? It's a like, snipe if he takes him. You don't see it coming. Not... Like, if you're, if you're sniping, or sniping, like, you don't see it coming, right? So a snipe. That's true. So I don't know. He took he took a good guy at the right flight time. So good. Yeah. So I like uh, why she was good. The running back situation. You know, he does have technically three ish or four ish starters. I'm not really sure the Philip Lindsay situation to be honest. But um, you know, so I think that's going to get him through this year just fine. Um, bit of a trade off in, in Dynasty, but yeah, I think a team that's probably uh, pretty set at QB and, and you know um, set to compete this year right out of the gate. So, all right, oh, yeah. number three, I had Ad Asher at number oh, three. I had Asher too. We, I did not. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> all right. Oh, so is... I had. Uh, so, Asher, uh, you know, he's got Miles Sanders, really like him. Uh, Asher went kind of a lot of youth, um, but real, real high upside youth. So, uh, J.K. Dobbins, Joe Burrow, uh, Deontay Johnson. Jacob Eason, all high, high, high ceiling guys. Yeah. <laughs> got her, Irv Smith. Um, you know, he did get Corey Davis, so frankly – I should move him down just for that, to be honest. Or Corey Davis. Um, he got my dude, Will Disley. I'm a, I'm a Will Disley truther, so I was a little bitter about that. Uh, can we One of these years, the he, won't, he won't get hurt in game three of the season. So, um, Yeah, so I think uh, I, I'm, I'm giving him the bump there. I feel like he may have a slightly less complete team than some other teams, but his youth upside, uh, I think he definitely uh, prioritized that. And so that's why I put him that high because I, I really like his, his youth upside. So I say, yeah, his one downside right now is he's, he took some risks at tight end, but he's still like they're solid guys. Like Goddard, he's going to be the guy whenever Zach Ertz retires, whenever that could be in three, four years. Who it could knows? be this year. We'll think this could year. be this year. Um, Will Disley, Irv Smith, all guys that could be good, but just yeah. don't know yet. We just, we just don't know. Let me know if you need to head in after. Um, <laughs> all right, number four. I'm gonna go ahead and say this one, Jay, because it's actually I have you at number four. Whoa! So I'll real quick. Um, wow. So. I really like your – I actually had you much lower before I realized that you traded some picks out and got more quarterbacks. So I had you a lot lower than I realized that you had traded for Derek Carr and then – well, you traded Phil Rivers away, but did trade up for well, him in the draft. First, first post-draft trade. First and, post-draft oh, trade. Just to explain so everyone understands. So someone makes a trade. There's a 24-hour trade counter window. So yep. if, if you don't like the trade – Grow a pair, make a counter trade, or else make, make a better counter trade. Yeah, make so, a better counter uh, trade. I really like your. You went really young as well. I like a lot of your players: uh, DeAndre Swift, um, Marquise Brown, Singletary. So you went really young, DJ Moore. Um, so you got a lot of really high upside guys as well. Um, the reason I just had you down there is uh, I think your QBs are a little bit shakier um you, you got russell wilson acre so that's you're gonna be fine there um and you got a stable of young running back so i think you know you're gonna be in fine shape 
Um, but you, I actually did not like your tight end as well, but I am oh. not a Gesicki guy. I know you think Ooh. that's uh, heresy, that's but I don't see the Gesicki thing. So if that hits for you, though, I mean, you're going to be rocking and rolling. So um, I'm ready. Yeah. Jalen Hurd is already out for the year, though. I'm a little upset. First, like, season as, like, first day of practices, and I've already lost the guy for the year. That was a little upsetting. It's Dynasty, bro. Long game. All right. Who you got at number four? Number four, I had Colin Quarantine. So Colin went really late QB, but he was still an ab and Big Ben. Ooh. So a little older guys, but could be QB1s, high QB2s. But big, big strength. He's got Dalvin Cook, Devontae Adams. Alan Robinson, Travis Kelsey, those are all guys that like could be like top twelve in their their position this year, pretty easily. So, I think he's a force to be reckoned with. But he's a little older of a team, I I would say compared to the other ones. All right, so number five, I had Ben Gifford in here. Oh, um, Big Ben. I know, Big Ben. So I actually thought Ben had probably the most just all-around solid team as far as no major weaknesses. So he's got good tight end, good pair of running backs, good pair of wide receivers, uh, good pair of quarterbacks. And then I thought he did pretty well on his depth as far as kind of mixing and matching young guys and old guys. Um, so, yeah, I had just probably the most it's just solid draft uh i thought was bad yeah. so he, he actually had some good picks that surprised me that he knew they were good picks uh, um he knew when to take risks the one guy i don't understand he took was siwo Al- alanua so like he took the third running back in in dallas but this is Where? dynasty oh yeah i've never heard that name before never heard that guy I, before I didn't know Deion Lewis was on the Giants either, so. I've also never heard of that Green Bay tight end, Josiah De- DeGora. Wow. Hey. We were really scraping the bottom of the barrel. Um, right. You right. like his team. Who'd you have? I actually, number five, I actually had you, Mr. Levi. Lay it on so. me, big boy. <laughs> For your team, here. Cloud House. Um, I really like, well, you went CMC, solid pick. And then you went for the young, like, you can do it in the air, do it on the ground, QBs, Watson and Murray. Um, solid. And you, you got Calvin Ridley. I'm not a Calvin Ridley guy, but he's going to be like, he's a really high floor guy. Like, I just, he's I just feel wrong. This year. Well, I, I just don't see, he, he doesn't really. I don't think he'll ever be the number one once Julio retires because he's not a yards after the catch guy. They'll bring some he's other guy in. Last year. He's what? <laughs> he's the number one last year. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. But I like I like Robert Woods, Hawkinson. And you got some some risks down that could pay off if Jameis becomes a starter again. Yeah. Big Mitch, big Mitch. Some you got some good he's guys. Just saying, Mitch is looking really, really good in training camp. Really good. Yep. I, I, I've heard this. So. <laughs> really no, no, no. Last, last year, last year they were oh. about how bad he looked. Oh, okay. Well, this is the year. This is the year. He's, he's going to outplay Patrick Mahomes. It's going to happen. Nope. Big dick Nick. All right. Um, <laughs> Who do you have for number six? <laughs> number six all right i had uh colin there colin. So I'll, go, I'll go down his team since you already did, did talk- yours you talked about him i talked about um, him be quick uh i'm gonna be super quick uh all right so Devin cook Devonte, travis kelsey robinson uh started to draft off really strong um i think he they're kind of like Ben, just a really solid team. And then he kind of picked some really good upside plays with, you know, rugs, um, 
Rugs. Uh, KJ Hamler. Um, the quarterbacks on him. The reason I have him. Room had the reason I have him so low is I don't love the quarterbacks. Brady and Roethlisberger. I don't know how much is left there, even though they've got the weapons. Uh, and Tyrod Taylor, you know, he's the starter as of right now, but you know, I'm not really sure how that shaked out. So the reason I have him so low is just kind of the quarterback situation. But I think his position players, is, he's got a pretty strong group there. So who did you have at number six? Number six, I had Swiftish battle hmm. fighter. So I he went PPR monster. Definitely looked at the rules. It was a PPR. Got Austin Eckler, Michael Thomas, Cooper Cup, Mark Andrews, Juju, all guys that are going to get lots of targets, lots of catches. Yep. Um, so that was pretty good. And I will get, he, <laughs> he has a nickname for every player. Some of my re- I really like. Um, <laughs> Daw Sun Knox. <laughs> All he has got to go fast. Miko Hardman, James Washington, George Washington. Wow, Sammy Watkins, Lizard Man. That that was a, that was a good one. <laughs> good one. Um. Oh, and Peyton Barber. That guy's guy is kind of mean. As a guy's owner right now, as a guy's yeah owner, it's true. Guy's is a very bad person. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, All right. But yeah. So you have six. Number, number seven, oh, I had Swiftish as well. So I'll oh, segue yeah. into that and say, um, uh, yeah, I like his start of the draft too. He did go, uh, you know, zero RB or, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that's the only reason he kind of slipped this far for me, um, just because. Sure. He does have PPR monsters there, but I really don't see, um, you know, very, you know, it's just very thin. And I know I'm one to talk about thin running backs, but um, yeah, so that's just why I had him so far. But I like everyone else on the team. He's got really good wide receivers. I think Aaron Rodgers is going to have a beast of a year this year. I think he's really salty about the draft and everything that went down there. So I think he's going to go off this year. So do you think he's going to go Hill, off or do you think he's going to be bitter and just like kind of just say, screw it? Dude, he's too competitive and too much of a um, diva. Yeah, Dylan. Call him a diva. Um, my cousin Dylan is a huge Packers fan, so uh, it's wow. a mental illness for the family. What um, a loser! <laughs> but no, I, I think he's. I think he's going to ball out this year. Unfortunately for my right. Bears. Bold. So bold yeah, claim. Aaron, Aaron Rodgers is going to be good. He's he's kind of got that like sulky thing, but he's too good. He's too competitive. He's not just gonna he's not gonna be able to like shut it down and just let it happen. He's gonna have he's gonna just compete. So, who you got for your number seven? Number seven, I got big Colton Team McStreeter. Um, Colton had a solid draft. I thought um, Nick Chubb, Chris Godwin, Mari Cooper. Um, I like a lot of his late guys too. I thought like Zach Moss, Tony Pollard, Joshua Kelly, Denzel Mims. Um, even Austin Hooper went really late. Like people just don't respect Austin Hooper. He's been what like the tight end six every year. I know he's been in, in Atlanta, but we'll see. You can't just we'll see if Hayden Hurst can actually do anything, but. Put some respect on Austin Hooper's name, please. Well, I had uh, Colton at number eight, so I'll also give my take on his team real quick. Um, yeah, I really like his core as well. Godwin, Chubb, Cooper, Carson went one wide receiver, running back, wide receiver, running back, right out of the gate. Um, reason I have him so low is he's got crazy upside um, at his quarterbacks, but. Baker, Daniel Jones, and Haskins, that could just as easily completely flop this year. Um, yeah. Same thing with, you know, Hunter Henry. I'm not a big Hunter Henry believer. I mean, could be great. Um, but I think his wide receiver running backs, he did a really good job. But I think there were some holes on his roster. So that's why I had Colton at eight. 
Eight. Uh, who did you have at nine? Oh no, you have eight. Who did you have eight? Well, eight was Ben. When we I we talked about it earlier. So <laughs> Ben, Suck Ben's ben. trash. Not very good. That's about it. All right. Who did you have at nine? Uh, nine. I had D has. Um, Dylan. I didn't Country old. You had him. Oh, oh wow. Well, then, so, uh, I, I I like a few parts of the scene. He's got Lamar. Um, he's got AJ Dillon. AJ Dillon, I think he's gonna be the guy, and he, he's got Aaron Jones, so he was safe and got him. Yeah, but, really um, smart gang up there. Yeah, but like, I just and I like Sutton. I just don't know about Tyler Boyd. Um, and then also Damian. He took Damian Williams not too early, but just. What's gonna be like his role if he comes back next year? If he's and like, yeah, well, how that's gonna be if he's on the Chiefs? Um, yeah, we got CD Lamb, Michael Pittman. He's got some good upside too. I'm a big Blake Jarwin fan too, so he's got some good. I just don't know about. Yeah, he's his second quarterback is kind of a question. Is it going to be Nick Foles? Mm-hmm. Is it going to be Justin Herbert? Like those are two guys that might not even be starting at all this year, but maybe at some point. Yeah, and that's actually – that's why I had uh, Dylan down at nine, but that same reason was really – I didn't really see a second quarterback in there. Um, I thought Nick Foles was going to be the starter by the, se- by the start of the season, but, I mean, like I said, Trubisky is having a really good camp, and it looks like he's going to be the, the starter there, so – who knows how that shakes out, but um, who knows? So just kind of a keeping hole at that QB second like quarterback, but you know Henry, uh, he's got the Green Bay handcuff, which I think is going to be really solid this year. It looks like they really want to run the ball, um, and he's got some really good side at uh, wide receiver with Sutton and Lamb. So also really like Darren Waller. So uh, I think he's really, really like his tight end group. Maybe out of more out of, than anyone else. In the yeah, I would agree draft. with that. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, I like Pittman. So I think wide receivers are tight ends are solid. Um, yeah, but the quarterback thing, that's why I got him down there. So. Beautiful. Who do you have 10? At 10? 10, I yeah. got Indiana Jones, Travis Jones. Oh, me too. So, oh my have, gosh. So, so that means we had the top, the top, top three two were the same and the bottom, and the bottom two. We must have the same cheat cheat sheets. Um, But Travis, like a joke was made in the chat, his team would have been amazing two two years ago, which is still amazing this year. But just it's, I think he might have the oldest team in the league. Drew Brees, Lev Bell, Julio Jones, Todd Gurley. Those are all guys that are showing their age. Um, And he knows how long they got. Yeah, he, he's got some really good, you know, young guys in there. Uh, you know, Evan, Evan Ingram, who knows? He's going to do this year. He's got Drew Locke. He's got Judy. Um, but, yeah, I think just the overall age of his, you know, I think AJ is going to have a good season. But just the overall age of his team in a dynasty draft kind of has to have me put him lower um, mm-hmm. just based on age alone. Um, and I'm not really a girly guy. A girly believer this year, so you know, could be wrong. Could be wrong. Number twelve. All right. Who'd you have? Number, number 11. eleven. Sorry. Sorry. No twelves here. All right. I have Jeff down at eleven. Um, and I know he just traded for Philip Rivers. It doesn't really change too much for me. Um, basically, the reason I have him down there is just lack of quarterback. Um, so. You know, started out of the gate, two really good running backs, Josh Jacobs and Clyde edwards Blair. He's got a bunch of young, young wide receivers. Um, but I think just the quarterback situation in Superflex, that's just, I have him mm-hmm. down there for that reason. So, Yeah, I would say uh, he's, I really like the start of his drafts. Um, but yeah, he, I think he addressed quarterback too late. Um, but I, I really like, I, I think he's got probably the top upside for youth in quarter and wide receivers with Brown, mm-hmm. Scary Terry, DK Metcalf, 
Um, who else? Yeah, Christian Kirk. You could you get your Jalen Rager. Oh. Those Rager, are all guys yeah. that that could be like alphas for the next five years. So you're those, an alpha. If those turn out, <laughs> those turn out, we'll see. But, but yeah. All right, that is that is our uh, our rankings that's, right there. That's so. the show, guys. Feel free Pretty to strong. tell us how long you think we are. Feel free to drop your own rankings, except for you, Ben, because I know you're just going to put me at the bottom like you always do. So, um, yeah. True. Well, so. this is 40 minutes long. So. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, is it not? I don't know. Well, thanks, everyone. I'm trying to figure out how to turn this off. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Like. Subscribe. Like, sorry, subscribe. Click, send us money. Or we have a Patreon. Yes. Um, send me Venmo, me Cash App. But yeah. deuces. All right. All right. Thank you, guys.